Halito, halito, chamachukma. What's up, beautiful ones? What's happening with you? So, I'm going to upload. I'm going to upload the, the show uh, that I did with Sonetta. Um, I wasn't able to do the simulcast. Um, I wasn't able to do the simulcast. However, there are some things that, you know, you got to save for your home team. So, one second. Um, definitely appreciate the fact that, um, you know, Sonetta was able to, uh, create a, uh, environment. Um, definitely appreciate, um, he was able to create a decent environment, you know, um, you know, where, where I was able to speak without being disrespected and, and interrupted and stuff like that. Um, you know, um, and I, and I hope that, um, y'all was able to appreciate that, you know, uh, I didn't get upset or anything. Um, you know, it, and it, it's just bringing this, bringing this information, like we here, man. Um, and people going to have to deal with that, you know, they're going to have to deal with the fact that we are here. Uh, we ain't going nowhere neither. You know what I'm saying? So, let me see. One second. I wanted to go back to what we were speaking about last night uh, with some of those roles. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the Cherokee and get into why, you know, some of our, so many of our people um, talk about Cherokee descent. Now, considering all the, the wars and, and, and the things that were happening and the constant moving and migrations and stuff like that, Cherokee is just a general banner, okay? Um, it's a general banner that housed a lot of our people that uh, were able to stay together during these times, right? So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to do a screen share. I'm gonna do a screen share. How y'all beautiful ones doing? Y'all hope everything's well with y'all. Um, I hope everything was well. I'm gonna post it here on this page too. I'm gonna post it on this page too. Um, it's good to see y'all. I see some of y'all in there that was holding me down and all that. And I, I just wanna let y'all know, I appreciate y'all. The, the love, the love, the love, the love is absolutely there. Um, I didn't, I couldn't really pay attention to the chat because you know how some of them are so goddamn hostile and stuff like that. That would have changed the whole entire temperament of uh, what it was that I was trying to convey. Um, you know, they, you know, they talk the shit they could talk, whatever. But um, I, I'm comfortable, man. I'm in my skin and, and, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, but that was a good show. Like I said, he created a very uh, peaceful environment. Uh, he didn't allow anybody to disrespect me. Um, I thought it was hilarious when uh, when Mr. White Man from Brooklyn called. I thought that was funny. Um, but you know, he had a right to do, the right to say what he had to say, and you know, we respected it, and that was pretty much it. So, um, let me see something here. Do, 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 do. Give me one second. Let me. Something's wrong with my phone. My uh, my uh, family search is acting up in Chrome, so maybe I could pull it up on a different. Um, I'm gonna try and pull it up on a different. Um, I'm gonna use uh, Explorer and see if that. Uh, if that one works a little better. Let me see something here. Un momento. 
But, you know, like I said, I think that it was a um, it was a decent show. You know, the vibe was cool and all that. I knew they was going to come with that DNA shit. But again, you know, until they can um, make it very clear, where's the prototype for the American DNA? Um, you know, it's still going to be some things that they come short on. But at the same time, what they need to do. Um, one second. What they need to do is make sure that they, they shit lines up. You know, um, there was a, a portion where Garfield had called in and, um, you know, I asked him, so how do the records add up? How do the records add up to, um, you know, what his DNA finds? And he said that it goes back a thousand years. So, you know, but then he, he, he made sure that he, he straightened that out because, you know, we, we all know that that, that that can't be what it is. Um, let me see. What do I want to go into? I want to go over here. I want to go over here. Um, the Cherokees, now I don't know where I left off at, but I wanted to talk about those immigration roles, um, of 1817. Uh, they were in the Arkansas Territory. And, um, you know, they, a lot of uh, people left Arkansas to go to Oklahoma. I don't know. I, I don't know. A lot of people don't know that. Where my little thinking cap at? Motherfuckers don't respect my hat. We got the prove it hats coming up soon though. We got the prove it hats that'll be coming out. I'll be selling that too. Um, let me see. Let me see something. Okay, I'm gonna do this uh, screen share. Do the screen share. What's in that? Yeah, this cold kicking my ass out here. I got to get back to California. I'm just so over this shit. I'm over it, over it, over it, over it. I had to pull out the coat, got the Uggs on and shit. I ain't really feeling all of that. So I want to tell y'all, I sent, I, I put a, a PDF up in uh, the genealogy group and uh, definitely dropped it in African Americans Ain't African. And it has a plethora of genealogy material, a plethora of books that are going to talk about specific people. And you need to look in some of those, uh, look for some of those books when you get to these archives, because that's going to explain a lot. And mind you, you have these treaties and stuff like that. Um, and you'll be surprised, you know, who actually signed these treaties. You'll be able to see a lot of their indigenous names and you'll also see the names that you now go by too. So, one second. Yeah, that DNA, man, that DNA is not going to work. They ain't got no American prototype for the DNA. So it's really kind of hard, you know, to take that that, that seriously. Um, Specifically because um, they that's still relying on other people to tell you who you are. Yeah, suicide. I, I've, I've been living in Cali for five years and being back home, this shit is cold out here. I ain't really with it. I'm over it, over it, over it. Genealogy uh, cannot be confused with uh, the DNA, okay? Because it does not establish ancestry. It does not establish your... Uh, descendants from one person to the next doesn't do it. It doesn't do it. And there's no, there's no way around that. There's no American prototype. If they're saying that Native Americans came here from somewhere else, who is, who, where's the American prototype? I, I just don't think that that makes much sense. And again, if they definitely, if they can't find the records to match, they can't find the records to match, then, you know, it's not even worth the swab. Um, and you know, <laughs> it's not even worth the swab. It's not even worth it. Like it still shows uh, a bit of disrespect 
for the ancestors because you're not putting nothing into them. You're not putting nothing into it. You're not putting anything. Uh, I'm in SoCal, City Council of Yashavala. I'm in SoCal, in uh, Inland Empire, Paris, you know, Wildemar, Moreno Valley, Temecula, Marietta. I'm in that area where it's nice and warm at. <laughs> nice and warm at. Um, yeah, this cold is really uncomfortable. It's really uncomfortable. I should have brought up the man from South Carolina um, that they found whose DNA predates you know, most of what it is that they're saying it does. Um, but let me show y'all where some of these folks is at. And then, you know, again, this goes back to my comment. You never know. Um, don't spit in the garbage can because you never know when you got to get it out. Now, these ancestors here, these Shawnee ancestors that I'm going to show y'all. Still go back to the Pahawatan Confederation. Um, one second. Here they go. But y'all need to check out some of these names because these are where our, our, our folks, we have common folks. There's always going to be some that you're still going to have to go back to. You're still going to have to go back to some of them because uh, you'll bump into brick walls in certain places. But again, this is going to be a lifetime thing. It's not something that is going to just stop when you find one person. You got uh, over 65,000 when you get down to the 14th generation. So after you leave the people alone that you got stuck on, you're able to go back. It's always going to be something to do. It's always going to be something to do. Let me show you how um, not every gap is filled in, but there is like so much information, so many folks that are here, you can pay attention to them. Um, you want a second? Screen share. Ah, oh, man, I think it's. Let's see. Um, let me know if y'all can see this. Let me know if y'all can see my screen. Hold on one second here. Yeah. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my boy Whip Shop Sutton, um, releasing an album that he had. You know, Whip Shop used to do music. That's always going to be one of my first loves. Anybody that knows me know I used to be. Um, I am a musician and it kind of doesn't die with you, even though I haven't been in the booth for quite some time. But that's always going to be my first love. I do write songs. I, I I still got it. I can get in the booth. I can drop a hot 16 at any time I feel like it. Um, you know, but there's a brother named My Son, and he's selling these, he's got these hats that say sold not for sale. So, you know, that that's that just speaks volumes to me. It speaks volumes because my soul wasn't for sale. So yeah, it was it was not hard for me to turn down. Uh, record deals and stuff like that because I respected my grandma too much. I uh, respected my daughter. I respected my mother. Um, and I definitely was not, um, I wasn't in the, in the, in the business of, um, embarrassing them. So let me know if you guys could see the screen. want to know if you could see the screen here. Can y'all see it? Thank you, Kiawa. Let me know if y'all can see the screen. I can't um, look at the chat too. Okay, all right, Bark and Wolf, thank you. So let me just show y'all some of these folks here. And this is where you go from, got uh, my grandfather here, George Paris, and these are the Shawnee Indians. So you see, they had to have one of them Europeans that needed to come over here and deal and love up on our grandmas and stuff like that. So you had a bunch of these Europeans and some of them were also mixed with our folks at this point, um, but they definitely married married into, married them Indian woman, okay? Um, 
Let me see. Some of these names, they're super hard to pronounce. So there's going to be, you see, like here. Now, I got Margaret Peggy Barté. Um, I believe her mother was Susan Barté. I have um, I have them on a, a different on um, Ancestry. So some of the gaps that are here, they're not the same on uh, Ancestry.com. Um, and I haven't completely, let me tell y'all, when y'all deal with the, um, when y'all deal with the my heritage, right? My heritage is very good. Um, however, when you have your basic subscription, you're only allowed 250 people. So my suggestion is if you are already at your seventh, um, great grandparents might want to start from there. You don't have to start from the beginning because you'll waste your 250 people quick and quick. If that's the subscription that you have. So it's like $150 for, um, it's $150 for the other subscription that gives you, you know, unlimited people. And the good thing about my heritage that is included with that $150 subscription is the fact that it will create a book for you. So you'll be able to, you know, get that book. You'll be able to get a booklet created and, and that's pretty dope. So um, back to throwing it in the garbage, uh, spitting in the garbage can and having to go dig it out. A lot of these folks, especially the Moy Toys, you got the Shawnee Indians, and they still gonna go back to the Powhatan Confederation. They ended up on the Cherokee Rolls of 1817. Um, they ended up on the Cherokee Rolls, uh, eight, the Henderson Rolls of 1835, um, and definitely in the Treaty of New Dakota. And that was also in 1835. I want y'all to check the Hester Rolls, H-E-S-T-E-R. Um, a lot of these roles are named by the people who are in head, ahead in charge of the military regiments. Okay. So, but you pay attention to these names. So now you got Oshaska Muskrat, and he was also a Muay Toy. Um, Swan Warpeth, um, and that's, and he was a hop. They have big turkey hop, so on and so forth. These are manipulated. Once you put in um, your ancestors, they kind of come with the territory when you're building your tree on family search. But I'm also going to tell y'all and suggest that you create, use a different email and create you a Latter-day Saints account because a lot of the documents, you, um, you don't have to travel anywhere. You'll still be able to print these documents through their site. So they may not show them on family search. National Archives through the National Archives. However, they will show them through the family search of the Latter-day Saints. So you'll still be able to actually have the physical documents. You can print them out and save them for yourself. Uh, and my suggestion is that you do. And you keep little files and folders on them. You know, you'll never run out. You'll never run out of, um, certainly never run out of people to deal with and talk about. So you got these names, you know, a lot of them, and you'll have to, now there's still, I still have a burden because I'm going to have to find out what their, um, let me blow this up a little bigger so y'all can see. I'm still gonna have to find out what they're doing business names were. Of course, these thumbnails don't belong to them. These are not the actual people. I do believe that this is uh, Quatsi Nanihai K KDC, and she was also a Muay Toy. They, um, you're also going to find her in books, and she is Quatsi of Teleco. And Teleco is uh, in, in Tennessee, which at that point, you look at the time, this is the 1600s. Tennessee was not Tennessee at that at point. Um, they're speaking of the people, the Tennessaws. They're speaking of the people that were there, okay? So a lot of these states were named after our people. They were named after people. Alabama, there, uh, there's an Alabama tribe of Indians. Um, Tennessee, there's a Tennessee tribe of Indians. Um, so you'll be able to see that. Sometimes you'll still have to go in and fill in their children because not all of the children are there. Now, a lot of these, now certainly um, Hopper, a of Teleco, and this is um, Hokulisqua, Opichan. Okay, now this, his father, if I'm not mistaken, and here you go, you got another Quatsi, Moitoy. 
Let me see. And his father is... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to drag this way here. See, now these are the folks from, you got Wolf Clan, you have Deer Clan, you have Wind Clan, um, you have all these people. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Feathered Hebrew. You have, um, I'm going to go into Mississippi. Mississippi, contrary to what people think, Mississippi and Louisiana still hold the oldest uh, non-recognized bunch of Indians that have never left since the time before it was called Mississippi and it was still uh, West Florida at that point. But that is definitely an indigenous name, definitely an indigenous name. So see now here, this is where this trail right here, it leaves off right there. But when I go to, let me get this on. But now, When I go here on Family Search, uh, excuse me, Ancestry, it goes a little deeper. See, these gaps aren't filled in. So I have Philip Doherty's uh, family. I have his family on Family Search, but I haven't punched him in over here on Ancestry. Um, so now you have the, the corn stalks. Um, let me pull this up so you can see some of these names. Holiska. Polisqua Opichan Stream Cornstalk, Shawnee Nation. Now, this is now Frederick, Virginia. So it still has a lot of hints and stuff. I don't, you see, I have all these hints here. I don't really deal with all the hints. It's over 100 hints, and I haven't accepted them all because they don't necessarily all pertain to me. But um, so now you have, um, again, now I have uh, another line that is also the West Line. They're also intermarried with these nations as well. So you're going to see Chief Ensenor um, Algonquin running stream. You'll see them on another branch of the family tree. They had this, these clans, and you can only marry out of two of these clans because it was disrespectful for you know the other clan members to deal with someone's daughter. So that way, you marry someone that's not in your bloodline, and you're able to carry on. So you got scent flower and they're powertan. Okay, now you have these places that are no longer even called this. This is going to be Confluence Dam, which is uh, Staunton Rivers, Virginia. Okay, um, Jamestown. Uh, he ended up dying in Jamestown. She ended up dying in Jamestown, excuse me, uh, in 1600. So you have here, you have this... Um, this is one of my grandmothers, Cleopatra uh, Matachawa, Shawano, Powhatan. She's the sister of Pocahontas. And you can see these areas are no longer called this. Now, this is, um, they call this the Shawnee Village also, and this was in Frederick, Virginia. So this is the 1600s. This is 1602. And she died in 1680 uh, in Jackson, uh, which is uh, now Amelia, Virginia. So you have so far to go. So now you see where it went cold at. You can pick up the heat over here. So you definitely want to keep cross-referencing. Don't let that stop you that you don't come to where you see these names because there's going to be um, one of them name was Susan Pride, but she has a completely different indigenous name. Uh, and it's hard, it's gonna be hard for you to, to correlate the two and know that they are the same, the same damn people. So um, cross-reference, you'll be able to find exactly who it is that you're looking for. You'll be able to find exactly who it is that you're looking for. And um, you'll be able to go forward. Now keep in mind, even if you don't find even if you don't find uh, some of these indigenous names, it doesn't mean that they're not Indian. It doesn't mean that they're not Indian. They took on these common names for specific reasons to run their companies. So, um, let's see if we go up another line, who we can deal with, let's go up another line. Okay, one. 
one second. Now, sometimes, and let me show y'all a fatal mistake that, well, not fatal, but a mistake that you make, and you know, you're kind of hot and cold at the same time. Um, they had multiple husbands, they had multiple wives. So sometimes when you just go accepting different uh, ancestry from specific tree hints that are there, you take on the whole tree, that particular wife that he has at the time may not be your grandmother. That might be his second wife. That might be the wife of the mother of the other siblings, but it may not necessarily be the wife that, um, you know, the grandmother that it belongs to you. It could be to your uncles, your great, great, great uncles and such like that. But it doesn't necessarily mean that that's who it is. So now. Let me see. Then you get to the Croshaws and uh, the West. I am a West, we are West. Um, let me get this here so I could share this shit. So I can share it, I can share it. Hold on a second. Let me know if y'all can see it. Let me know if y'all can see it. Let me know if you can see it. Okay, so now these are my West family going all the way up the line. This is not hard to find. This is going to be like Thomas Delaware or one of them. Um, I just didn't patch that in. I have it on the other tree, but not this one. So some of them I just didn't fill in. Um, but you wanna make sure you put this shit on paper too. You wanna have your hard copy. You wanna have your hard copy want to have your hard copies on deck so you know a lot of these names we've never heard of them um you know you got chief his uh opichon kano eagle plume see there's 11 hints there and i'm sure it'll have a, a bunch of other information but I, I just haven't accepted it yet um haven't accepted it yet or even i haven't really even went into Let's go look at some of the hints. Now, most of these hints here are going to be what? You see how there's 18 trees here, right? There's going to be 18 trees over here regarding Dash and Stream when Seneca of the Powhatan Confederation. Now, they uh, have their birth at 1490 in Virginia and the death around 1520. All of these are going to be about. All of these are going to be about. You got grandbaby watching. I'm going to watch my potty mouth, Chelsea. Um, so you got dash and stream here. Now, see these hints right here? I haven't looked in them, but I'm going to click it open just so you guys know some of the things to look for. And what's going to be funny is this is what I want to highlight right here to y'all. This is the kicker. Let me just show y'all what's over here in this corner down here. Now you see all these people right here? Don't none of them look like me, right? You see these folks over here in this corner right here? They don't look like me. What do you think is gonna happen when we all start digging and shaking up these family trees and you see who else saved this to their trees? All right, now this is 10 out of 15 people. I don't know what that means exactly. Uh, maybe 15 people have these folks assigned. Oh, you're welcome, Chelsea. Maybe these people have already um, done their tree and we may have some relativity to them. I'm not gonna exclude it, but I just think it's funny that none of these faces look like mine or yours. And I just wanted to make a mention of that. You see this man got this kinky hair going on right here. He got the kinky hair going on in his statue. So again, I thought it was funny how, you know, they made that big joke about Elizabeth Warren, but that doesn't mean that she does not have American Indian ancestry. And it's a joke because it's, you know, now it's different because here's the Wasichu that is having a hard time and DNA took her 
across the continent, right? It took her across the Atlantic into Europe, of course. But it doesn't mean that she's not, you know, a descendant of ours. Doesn't mean that. So let's see. Let me see. So I just wanted to show y'all that little hint right there. Now, and that's all it is. It wasn't anything. Just have a statue there. You know, you can have those things. You can create your own thumbnails and put your own thumbnail there. Like uh, what I plan on doing is putting in the actual picture, uh, the statue that they have of Power Tan. You know, um, the chocolatey statue that they have of him in the museum things like that. So you have all these hands. I haven't saved them. It's not like just because I come across it that I you know, know that that's them and I felt it so necessary to have that. There has to be some sort of documentation, whether it's a book or something like that. Again, here you go over here with these, um, with these folks and don't none of them look like, don't none of them look like me. Don't none of them look like me. Um, I'm almost done with the non-disclosure agreements because uh, once we start with the genealogy, I will not tell your business. Um, now, if you want to discuss it openly on the panel, um, thank you, Ad Ad Adonaya. Um, if you want to disclose it on the panel and we can have a conversation and chop it up, I'm totally cool with that. But as far as sharing information, um, regarding your ancestry, we're not going to do that over here. Feathers up. That's not something that we're going to do. Um, we're going to make sure that we get into these um, military records. And I'm going to tell you all some stuff is not going to be on YouTube. I'm going to go straight to Patreon. Um, also, give me one second. Let me just check something out right here. I just want to give somebody a shout out. I got my first Patreon member. Um, so I'm going to do something really nice. Going to give up some real spicy meatballs for this first Patreon member. Let me just shout, um, shout the sister out. Give me one second. Let me log in. Um, I haven't put the site up for the Patreon because, uh, you know, it's still my first time. Um, and I really didn't know much about it. So I'm definitely going to upgrade some of the packages now. However, anybody that purchases the tier, uh, the third tier, which is for 250, I am going to make sure you get an origin t-shirt. So check out shop origin or uh, origin, excuse me, with an E at the end and see what t-shirts you want. Because if you purchase that package, I'm going to give you a one-on-one. -on -one. Give me one second here. I'm going to give you a one-on-one. -on -one, and I'm also going to assist you with your ancestry until you're comfortable. Um, and also, um, I'm going to assist you. I'll work with you. And I'm going to make sure you get a free T-shirt. So you're going to have to tell me what T-shirt you want. And that'll be directly drop shipped to you um, from Origin. And that is an Aborigine company that we definitely want to support. Um, young entrepreneur sister, she is not even 25 years old. Um, and she's come so far. I uh, definitely want to give, give her uh, Atsila Yana. I want to give her a big fat shout out. She's a beautiful young girl. She is well on her way. Uh, she's doing her entrepreneur thing. She's got this great lineup. Um, certainly don't forget um, the others. There's plenty of other clothing lines, but you know, you want to make sure that you support our people. Spread love. You can definitely still um, copy your shirts from African Americans and African. Um, they got some quality, quality stuff over there. Also, um, Shop Origins got some specials and stuff. Maybe she'll uh, give me a coupon code for you guys. So when you mention me, you'll be able to get a discount on further things that um, that you'll be able to purchase from her. So let me see this beautiful sister's name. So I can give this sister a mention because she is my first Patreon guest here. And I just thought that was so dope. 
I was um, really exhausted last night uh, and I was trying to, you know, when you got that one eye open, one eye closed and you just tie this out. But I did see that, um, I did see that uh, I had a member at Patreon. That was the last thing that I saw before I went night, night last night. So shout out to Denise Waller. Um, definitely gonna put some content specifically up there for you. Um, now, as far as some of these tiers go uh, are concerned, I have, I wanna find some creative names for it. Um, the brick walls, certainly, you know, most genealogists and um, people doing their genealogy, they run into a brick wall on their research project. We at Feathers Up are gonna help you get beyond that brick wall and assist you to move forward. We can make suggestions to help you keep going. Um, and we're gonna give you, make sure you get that breakthrough. So that'll be, you know, the only thing now there's going to be some expenses and stuff like that. And I ain't going to bullshit y'all. I'll go as far as I can go before, you know, I, I need to ask you for anything, but there's going to be things like postage and photocopies and, you know, even parking out here in New York city, um, long distance phone calls. We don't really got to worry about that too much anymore, but faxes and computer charges. Uh, there may be some microfilm rentals and other incidental expenses. So any travel expenses, um, that are incurred from any of the packages that you're going to buy, they are going to be in line and authorized at the rate that the IRS generally uses. Okay. So it ain't going to be no Phoenix number. It's going to be what the IRS, um, is going to be what, what the standard is going to be for all people that are doing business. So we got that there. Um, let me see. Let me see. Shout out to Debbie Waller. I just wanted to say thank you. And I'm going to post some content up there for you, specifically for you. Um, and if you, I'm going to um, contact you uh, specifically because you're my first Patreon person. And I want to make sure that you guys have a good experience over here. So if y'all see something there that you don't like, then let me know. I'm really flexible. This is new for me. So I just want to make sure that y'all, you know, I ain't trying to jerk nobody. I ain't trying to overcharge nobody. Um, but, you know, I just want to make sure I'm getting compensated. But the, the biggest blessing, the biggest thing is going to be seeing you guys doing what y'all got to do and getting some closure and stuff like that. So Arthur Gray, Halito, Chihulu Lee, what up, baby? How are you? Cousin Donnie, Chihulu Lee. You know, so um, Ms. Zach, Halito, beloved. So, you know, I want to make sure y'all get whatever it is y'all going to pay for. I ain't charging like them pilgrims, but I want to make sure this shit is accurate. So it's going to take a couple of months because we're going to do it thoroughly. We're not going to just slap some shit together and hand it to you and say, here you go, you Indian. I also have, uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Marlon. I also have... Um, I got some of y'all emails. Don't think that I'm ignoring y'all, but I knew I had some stuff I had to get together running around. And then I knew I was going to be on Sonnetta today. So I didn't know exactly what time I was hoping to be on there now, around now. Um, but, it, you know, he had called earlier and wanted to do it earlier. So, um, you know, I just want to make sure y'all have some quality stuff that y'all are comfortable. I want to make it so easy that you guys understand uh, oh, you got that right, killer. You got that right. A lot of the Irish were Negroes. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, I want to make sure that y'all have what it is that y'all need. Um, we're going to get some things together. We got some elders out here. Thank you so much, Ms. Zach. We got some elders over here that are really, um, they, they want to keep a low profile. They want to keep a low profile, but they definitely want to make sure that they know that we are being, they acknowledge us. And they, um, a lot of them, they're just tired. They don't want to be in the limelight, but they definitely want to make sure that we are properly, um, you know, properly armed with everything that we need. Uh, the Patreon is uh, Phoenix Moon at Patreon. Um, I didn't, I wasn't going to put the link up. I know I mentioned it, but the reason why I didn't put the link up because again, I told you this is new for me. So I just want to make sure that I do everything right 
and and y'all are completely satisfied with all of the information and with the products and stuff and i don't want to um and it's a lot of things that i don't want to say on youtube so uh those will be the things that are going to be put on patreon um but i definitely want to tell y'all i didn't look at the chat yes yes killer i didn't look at the chat when i was on um hi Rhonda. I didn't want to look at the chat. Feathers up, Six Feather. Um, I didn't want to look at the chat while I was on Sonetta because I knew that that would be so distracting and all of that. But I want to shout out to uh, Darkman X and shout out to BCFC. I call you later, sister. Thank you so much. I seen you in there scalping, scalping. Um, and of course, Trauma Hawk always got my back, always holding it up. I saw you in there too, Ghost Wanagi. Peace and love. Salute to you, beloved. Salute to you. Um, I want to start um, getting into the clans so we can start building on that because you're going to see that there is six degrees of separation. We did not all end up in this community for no reason at all. A lot of us, um, Donnie Norwood, we are cousins. We are blood relatives. Um, Tasha She, we are blood relatives. Uh, I met another brother on Instagram. Shout out to uh, Red Pitbull. Um, Red Nose Pitbull, we are kinfolk and how that happened, the irony, it was nothing but the ancestors and we are um, distant cousins. So uh, we're going to find out that a lot of us are related. The ancestors are totally activating us. So don't feel like um, you're not doing enough or you haven't gotten far enough. Y'all got the spirit. They woke you up. Everybody is going to come into this exactly when the time is right. That's exactly when the time is right, and we're going to execute this flawlessly. Um, we're just going to have to make sure we stay away from these dirty feathers. That's all. But outside of that, man, outside of that, it's going to be all good. It's going to be all good. Um, we just got to make sure that, you know, we're doing our due diligence. And this is something that I tried to convince, uh, uh, convey over at, um, you know, Sonetta's channel today because uh, the burden of proof, it's not going to be whether or not I could prove that I'm Indian because we can do that. And as it stands, there's going to be some things that they'll never be able to disprove as a result of some of the horrible mistakes that they made. Um, so just know that. But the, they also still have a responsibility, you know, and this goes back to Palatine 1385. You see this mess? You see this mess? And again, this is on the other side. Didn't I tell you we were going to see Chief Ensignor Algonquin Powhatan again? So now these are you'll see where our people, Lloyd Cardi, thank you so much, beloved. You'll see where our people was only really dealing with each other. So it doesn't matter what they say that we are in the last 50 years because you'll see what the hell they said about us 100 years ago. You'll see what they said about us 200 years ago. And these are our folks. This is not just going to be just a select few. This is going to be the majority of us. This is going to be the majority of us. This is going to be the majority of us. Um, I'm going to, a lot of the documents that my sister and I have, what I'm going to start doing, um, now I have this new computer. I'm going to have to start loading them in there so I can show you on the, on the screen, do a screen share, and show you what the hard copies of some of these documents look like. Um, also, also, I wanted to make a mention of something I just can't remember right now. Um, now, also, oh, another one of the genealogy packages that we're going to have over here, Feather Up. Feathers up. A lot of you actually do want to work on your own genealogy project, and that is dope. That's what we encourage everybody to do. Um, so there'll be some consultation time that you'll be able to slip in um, prior. Don't worry about the brick wall. That's going to be something totally separate. But um, there's going to be some times where you'll be able to, you know, get the consultation just to help get you started. If you need to hear from me, just to um, you know, encourage you to keep going on or verify or go over some of the things that you guys already have. Um, hold on to any pictures and stuff like that. Any pictures and everything that you guys have, hold on to them. We may at some point, even if you don't know whose pictures they are, we may be able to figure out um, exactly who they belong to. 
Okay. So, but some of these names here, you haven't heard of them, um, but you're definitely going to be able to find some information on some of them. So here's another power tan. His name was uh, Nima Tannen, Japsaw. Okay. Um, and some of these places, Blue Ridge, Indian Land in Virginia. And that is now what they call boat, boat court. So look at some of these places. Um, it's blurry, Abina. Let me try and blow this up just so you can see it. But I want you to see some of these place names because now if you look at where Blue Ridge is now, it is now in West Virginia. It's no longer in what we call Virginia now. This particular place of Blue Ridge is now West Virginia. If you look at it on a map now, it's West Virginia. It's no longer in the actual so-called state of Virginia. So let me close that out. Let me close that out. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I wanted to show you guys. I'm not going to hold y'all too long. You know, I just want to tell y'all I love y'all. Um, I definitely wanted some feedback on how y'all thought that Sonetta, um, you know, that the interview with Sonetta went, you know. Um, so I make sure I represent, yo. They ain't never going to ruffle my feathers, man. They never going to ruffle my feathers, um, you know. We're just going to keep it regular. Look, I'm sitting here with my Yankee shirt on. I'm I'm cooling right now. You know what I'm saying? When we step out, I can get flea. I clean up really nicely and shit like that. But I'll be so busy. I like to have my little thinking cap on. You always wonder why I have a hat on. I like to have my little thinking cap. It hugs my head and it keeps my thoughts contained, right? Because sometimes you have all this energy coming in. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just want to make sure that I, I protect what I got going on up there, up under this cap. You see what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I know they be having buku shit to talk, but I, I don't give a fuck. You check all my shit out. We've always been fly. I, that's the least of my fucking worries. What's important is this motherfucking content and this daggone information. Oops, sorry, I forgot. Grandbaby is watching. I'm sorry. Um, the content and this information and the fact that we here. So even if nothing comes out of that interview and he invited me back for another portion next week, I have no problem with that. Now, I'm also going to um, publicly say this because I said something the other day um, regarding Dan Calloway, and maybe I didn't take the best approach when I called up there, but I had to separate that because he still has some accountability. He took that sister, so Alchemy's money, and it made a big fucking stink over $40. We cannot be petty with our people. We cannot be petty with our people. We have to show each other respect. We have to show each other respect and we have to learn how to govern ourselves. When somebody makes a mistake, we're not going to feed you to the hyenas, but you got to sit down and face the wolves. You got to sit down with the wolf pack. None of us should be exempt. If Phoenix do something crazy, hold me to task. Hold me to task. I can take it. I can take correction. But if we want justice, we got to be able to meet it out. Ain't nobody perfect. We're going to make some mistakes and stuff like that, but we can atone for it and mean it because we the soul people and it's in our nature and it's in our soul to be accountable for the things that we have done. We have already paid for stuff, mistakes that our ancestors made. We don't need to keep revisiting those things, right? Because now we have a new opportunity to do some other things. So if there's some flaws or some chinks and stuff in the armor that you see, call it out. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And I'll correct it. I'll correct it. We need to put our confederacies back together. We're going to have to have some clan mothers where we are electing our chiefs. So some of these brothers can actually earn their title as chief. You can't just be a chief if we didn't elect you. And if you mess up as being a chief, then we get to demote you too. And we get to have someone else. Thank you so much, Arthur. And we get to hire to have someone else be our representative. This is the system. We got to get back into it. We've been used running all willy nilly and stuff like that. You know, they you know, they used to say the, the, the thing that they most scared of uh, is a black man with a book. No, what they're scared of is the Indians getting organized. That's what they're afraid of. The Indians doing a genealogy. That's what it's about. That's what they're afraid of. And this is going to be the leg that we'll always be able to stand on. We'll always be able to stand on it. So, and it's a good leg. It's a strong one. It's a strong one. 
So I just wanted to tell y'all, you know, um, I'm excited that we're coming up on this, man. I'm excited. And, and not only that, next year, we just got to be very mindful because we're going to be seeing a whole bunch of people disappear like the 4,400, right? They're going to disappear because a lot of people is leaving and they'll be going to Africa, according to them. And, you know, right to a boat and stuff like that. They'll be going um, elsewhere. So there's going to be a lot of people that don't have internet out there. So guess what? They won't be trolling us. But I am hoping that even when they do go there and they go, um, you know, where they think they belong, I'm hoping that they, uh, you know, make sure they carry themselves well over there. I want them to carry themselves well over there. They don't need to be oppressed over there. I don't, I don't want it to seem like we hate people because I don't hate anybody. I hate oppression and I hate oppressors. That's it. I hate things, not people, right? But we want to make sure that there's, there's a, we, we are peaceful people. We the soul people. And it was so important for them to dissect that and take that apart from us. So now what we're going to do is put it back together and we're going to build and the whole world is going to follow behind it. So it's all love. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the donations. Thanks for holding me down in that chat room. I'm going to have to watch it. And I'm also going to upload it on my channel too. So if you don't even want to go over there to sign at the channel, I can dig it. You can watch it over here at home with us Indians. But love, peace, and hair grease. Y'all are amazing. I totally appreciate y'all. And I thank y'all for holding me down. I really, really do. Um, this It means everything to see y'all faces, you know, making sure that I got support. I feel safe. I feel protected. And I and, that, and that's something that a lot of us haven't been able to feel in a while. And some of you brothers, I really, really appreciate you, appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Y'all make sure y'all remind me of my dad. Y'all remind me of my brothers. Y'all remind me of my cousins and my grandfather and all the people that would do anything for us. And that really means a lot. And that's going to make sure that y'all have a blanket of love and protection over y'all. Make sure y'all have a blanket of love and protection over y'all. We're going to send our supplications up to the ancestors and make sure that y'all safe and make sure that nobody brings no harm to y'all because y'all have been the biggest target. It has been us also, but it's also been y'all. And I never liked what I saw when it comes to, to, to how they feel about y'all and how threatened that they feel, um, you know, by you guys. So I just want y'all to know we always praying for y'all and, and, and I appreciate you so much. I love y'all so much, Indians. Y'all have a good night. Peace a lot, chicken.